guitar.com and in this lesson I'm going to introduce you to the blues. Blues is a genre without which you cannot have rock and roll, jazz. It all started from the blues. Anyways, I would request you to watch a movie called Crossroads 1986. This movie ac actually has inspired a lot of great musicians. I can give you an example. Mr. Joe Bonamassa, an amazing blues guitarist. In one of his interviews, he said that he was immensely inspired by this movie Crossroads and after that he started learning the blues. There's a track called Feeling Bad Blues in this movie, an amazing track and it was played by Mr. Rai Kuder. So this track was one of the most inspiring music there. Anyways, so there's another thing, Steve Vai was also in this movie. So I hope you'll watch it. Anyways. Now I'll give you a theory lesson before I move on. As you can see now in the chart, we've got major scales written there. And if you can see, let us take a look at the C major scale. So the C major scale has got notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And if I number the notes like C as 1 and then serially D as 2, E3, F4, G5, A6 and B7 then if I tell you to pick out 1, 4, 5 from here then what you will get is C as 1, F as 4 and G as 5. So basically from C major scale C, F, G represents 1, 4, 5. Blues is basically a 1, 4, 5 progression. If I tell you to play C blues then definitely your progression will consist of 145 from C major scale. Similarly, we can also take 145 from G, G major scale and so on. So, if anybody tells you to play E blues, then your 145 will be E is 1, A is 4 and B is 5. So, remember this now. Let us go to the sequence of 12 bar blues. So, this is a very basic thing basically. 12 bar blue means, blues means we've got 12 bars so now you can look at the sequence the one chord is coming four times this is generalized thing here one represents the one chord for one bar so for four bars you are going to play the one chord so if we are in C then C is the one chord and we are going to play for four bars alright and then comes 4-4 four, four. that means for 2 bars you are going to play 4 so if you are in C then 4 is F so 2 bars F then again 2 bars 1 that is C then again 1 bar 5 chord that is G and 1 bar 4 chord F and then 2 bars 1 chord that is CC so this is the basic idea behind 12 bar blues now you can take any other scale like instead of playing C blues you can play A blues so A will be your 1 and if you look at the chart, the major scale chart, we've got D as 4 and E as 5. So you should be able to find out the scales on your own. In some other video, I'll show you how to find major scale. Now let us come back to the groove. Blues uses swing beats. Swing feel is one and two and three and four and it's not a straight beat straight beat means the one and two and three and four and these are all equally spaced like one and two and three and four and and if you haven't checked out normal strumming lessons then i would recommend that you visit my page called strumming from scratch there you'll get an idea okay, how the strumming patterns are formed and how to count anyways so here in swing beats the ends are a little bit away from the normal straight ends so one and two and three and four and so ends are a bit late one two three four are all equally spaced but the ends come a little bit late okay one and two and three and four and down 
up down up down up down so this is the basic strumming pattern for blues this is swing feel all right and now in blues mostly dominant seventh chords are used so that means let us take a blues now so if you remember the chord chart one chord goes for four bars and one bar is like this so one and two and three and four and this is one bar so here one bar is one and two and three and four and all right so for four bars you are going to play a7 so in a blues one four five chords are a d and e respectively and now we are going to convert all the chords to dominant seventh okay so our a7 is like this you hold a major and remove the fourth finger and bring your third finger in place of the fourth finger that means fifth string open fourth string second fret third string open second string second fret and first string open so here for four bars a will sound like this one and two and three and four and 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 all right so now it's d7 d7 is like this it's a four string chord and you hold it like this you put your second finger on third string second fret put your first finger on second string first fret and third finger on first string second fret so you this is your d7 so this is the four chord and it goes for two bars so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and now back to a one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and now you go to the five chord that is e7 in this case so e7 is pretty simple you hold e and remove the third finger that means fourth string open this is one way of playing e7 there's another way you can hold e and put your fourth finger on the d note that is second string third fret all right and there's another way you can lift your third finger off and keep the fourth finger here so there are three ways of holding e7 in open position anyways so after e7 you get d7 so one and two and three and four and d7 a7 for two bars so i'll show you very slowly the entire sequence of 12 bar blues i'll count each bar and you need to follow when the chord changes you need to get this into your head because otherwise it can be very difficult 12 chords are there all right not different chords three chords but total 12 chords will be played 12 bars rather anyways so one two and three and four two three four now it's going to d second bar d back to a two bars a now five chord one bar four chord one bar back to a two bars thanks for watching and do like us in facebook and twitter where there are pages in the name of tams guitar and also mail me at info@tamsguitar.com if you have any queries and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel share it with your friends who are in need See you next time. Bye-bye.